So our project was around fitting defibrillators to stations and on board. We wanted to ensure that uh, we could intervene positively with any customers that were struggling with uh, sudden cardiac arrest. The defibrillators were fitted on board because our trains spend a long time travelling between stations and we wanted to ensure that we could intervene as early as possible because every minute counts. We have 135 defibrillators across the whole route at our stations and also on board our fleet of 65 new Azuma trains that we're just currently rolling out across the network. So we invested more than £100,000 in the initiative. Uh, we wanted to ensure that we got the best of the equipment that was available. We worked with St John Ambulance to train our staff through what we call our safety update days, so all of our onboard crews are comfortable with making an intervention should they need to. The defibrillators on the train are amazing. We had a passenger who was travelling with the LNER. He had a massive cardiac event and we were able to get to him really quickly. My colleague called out on the radio. We were with him within 30 seconds and able to get that defibrillator to him within another 30 seconds. The ambulance arrived and continued to care for him. We heard feedback a few days later that he was still in hospital, but that he was alive. And I honestly believe that was down to having that defibrillator to him quickly and having people around that weren't afraid to use it. We wanted to make a difference uh, for our customers. We wanted our staff to feel that they could make a difference when presented with those situations as well. The team on board have risen to the challenge of embracing something that's new, a little bit challenging, probably a little bit scary. And I'm really proud of them and proud of my team uh, for uh, pushing through and doing the hard work to making this a reality.